so my question my first question to you is how do you think the whole knife crime problem how do you think how do you think it is at the moment if in your to like, in your opinion how do you think everything's going with young people knife crime stop and search all, all of it how do you feel about it well to be honest um personally um i've seen a lot of knife crime in my area yeah. Um, a lot of it goes unreported because obviously people don't want to report it and then get involved with the police and then yeah. they look upon it as getting more problems thrown at them. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it is obviously based around gangs and drugs and, and that kind of thing. That's where mm -hmm. it all stems from. Is uh, and A lot of the violence in general comes from that. Yeah. But it is a steadily growing problem. Yes. Is, yeah. And do you feel like if younger people seeing older people, might be their cousins, brothers, friends, and thinking, I want to be on this, on this, in this lifestyle, or do you just think it's, it's purely just down to that person that they've been inspired, or they've always had an idea that like, I want to be making money, I want to wear fresh trainers? Do you think it's kind of down to that, or do you just think it's inspired by people? Well. There's a lot of reasons why people would get involved in it. Um, family mm -hmm. is a big reason. If yeah. someone that you know is involved in knife crime, you're obviously going to be more attracted to it because you see the person themselves, you see what they're personally getting from it, yeah. the money, you know, uh, usually power, um, deference from other people. Yeah, it's, it's um, a lot more likely, I think, if you are involved with friends or family mm -hmm. but obviously people get attracted to it solely for the benefits yeah. like just for the, the drugs themselves for the position for the power you know it, even for protection a lot of people join it mm -hmm. so this event when is it where is it going to happen and can you just tell us a little bit more about what to expect on the actual day well, it's um, this Saturday on the 14th of March. No, it's not this Saturday, is it? Next Saturday. Next Saturday. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mixing everything up. Uh, it's next Saturday on the 14th of March. It's from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Okay. Um, it's the University of Bedfordshire, and it's in room at G101. And basically what it is is a big collective of all the artists in Luton and the surrounding areas where, mm -hmm. um, you know, knife crime affects them or even people ju that just want to display their opinion on it, have got together and developed an exhibition. Yeah. So there's going to be a play, there's going to be a lot of artwork of all different mediums, different types, there's going to be sculptures, paintings, you know, any way that people can express their... thinking, what's that one doing in here? Oh, we're just, gonna, we're just chilling. I'm thinking, we're chilling in the cheapest shop on my show. <laughs> <laughs> come on, guys, come on. We go to town and we see what's out there. I see so many heads. Oh my, oh my, it's just, it's not, it's not nice. That, and what we do is either sitting in the arcade, window shopping because we, we're not money men like that, or we're just, we're just causing trouble. There's, I don't know what, what to really say because I feel like another thing, I'm not trying to cr critique Luton, but I feel like compared to other places like London and like Huddersfield and uh, surrounding areas, they kind of have community centres and Things for things for them to do, like do you know what I mean. We don't have that, so I mean, I want to ask Sky because I know mm. Sky lives in Luton, but she's originally from London. So am I, but still, she lived in London longer. So Sky, talk to us about how you think the whole Luton community chill out space for young people is. Am I? Oh, yeah. I don't really know. I haven't really been in Luton that much. Like, I'm, I always thought of Luton to London. Is that because you think Luton? Be honest, yeah. you think it's. Do you yeah. think it's dead? <laughs> I think it's dead. Yeah. There's nothing for you to do, is there? No, apart from go town. That's about it. I talk. See, it's not just me being biased. There's nothing for us to do. Oh, if you're sorry. the thing is, if you're not, if you're not going town, you're in McDonald's. If you're not in McDonald's in the summer, you're at the you're at the field. You're, if, yeah, you're bopping something. That's yeah. what I'm saying. If you're not at the field, if you're not at the, if you're not in the field, where else is there to go? You're walking around Dominic. Yeah. If you're not in Dominic, you're going to Lucy Fair. You're going to Lucy One event. Nah, one listen. One event. The first. Yeah. I've never gone to Team Best in my whole you life. I'm being honest. I couldn't do it. But Team okay. Best is so trash. Really? Why is that? Is it? What is it? Talk to us. What well, is it? It used to be good. Mm. Like obviously, good artists in that come. Yeah. But now, after the, 
the S1 and QTT one. Yeah. Everyone should stop going. Just, they just found it so dead. Now no one goes. Why is that? Is it because like this is the hype's gone and yeah, it's just like this is the. For, I feel like for some people because that's the only proper event that was going on. They were like, let's just go. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Which bring, which brings me on to my next topic because all together there's a big group of us and we each other the L U R gang. So, Gary, even wait. though we haven't had a debate about it yet, I'm just going to like talk yeah. on behalf of all of us. I personally feel that we should become a collect. we are a collective, we should become a, how do I say this? A group where we make events and I guarantee if we talk, if we say we want this to happen, I 110% guarantee that all of our family will back us and it will happen. So let's, let's talk out in the open, we're having a debate because... About what? Let's talk about what events we want, and I guarantee mm. we'll make it happen. We'll summer make it happen. barbecues. Do you want a yeah, summer barbecue? That would be yeah. Weird. So let's talk about DJs. What type of DJs are you looking for? Um, maybe DJ Hanky. Just maybe. Hanky, <laughs> Hanky. So you guys got barbecues, yeah? yeah? And if we've got barbecues, you think people will come out? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. What type, more, what more type of events? events as well. Just what type of events? That performing shows and stuff. So you want more like, what about a talent show? Yeah, yeah. What that's, about, that's what I'm saying. What about, who, what about, let's think of a name. Oh, we had, actually, let me quickly jump in. We had this thing called UK Unsigned, where in 2013, on the 21st of April, don't ask me how I know that, we had an event where it was like, it was a talent show, but it was kind of for older, like, older people. I think it was from 18 all the way up until, it could be 90, but no one obviously that age, like, had yeah. I was, I think I was like techno, I was like 12, I was 13, sorry, I was 13 at the time, based on my age, anyway, I was 13 at the time and I don't know how I snuck into this this club, this bar thing, but yeah guys, I went to my first rave at 13, come on, <laughs> rave my hating, yeah, I came and when I say it, it was amazing, it was, pe- it was just people singing and having that, they were living their best lives and it was just so nice to see because I've never seen, I've never seen that in my life, so we've agreed. Barbecues, talent shows, anything else? Community centre. So well, you think? Okay, so I have a question. So we're in Marsh House at the moment. Do you think this could be a community centre? Yeah. Do you Do you really mm. believe this could be a community centre? Mm. Yeah. No, that, no, my no. only concern is I'm thinking about air, like, I'm thinking I'm now thinking about my concern now for me personally is postcode. That I'm gonna yes. be honest. Yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I think it'll yeah, get mistreated. mistreated. Yeah. Would you, Melissa explain a bit more what you mean about the mistreated bit? I feel like people would just take it as an opportunity to come here and do what they've got to do. So maybe sell drugs or just Stop come here and, yeah, just mess around and just start problems. But do you think they would do that? Because I'm going to be honest, I spoke to a few people in a week about this place and they were saying how they feel at home here. Do you know what I mean? Because Yeah, I know. It's a good, it's a good opportunity, mm. but there's obviously going to be certain people that are just going to take advantage of it and just mistreat the the whole surrounding. Yeah, yeah, the whole way of you trying to do something good for the community. Young people, yeah. So if there was like a not a goal, but if you okay, so if you feel like, for example, we started this youth like youth community centre, whatever, whatever, and um some do you think and someone was to come and they were causing trouble, but then they kind of start to build a relationship with the youth workers because it won't just obviously yeah. there'll be youth well there'll be youth workers and there'll be community leaders here. Do you think that if they start to build a relationship with them, then they kind of stop and back away and yeah, then maybe start talk. To talk to That's you. what I'm saying. Yeah. So a community a community centre. So is this after school in the week on the weekends? What what a bit maybe, um, maybe like weekend. holidays. Holidays yeah. and weekends. Yeah, I feel like when we get a break off school, there's not much to do within the week. So we just hang around at local areas just because just there's something to do. Mm. And there's not many places to go. I do hear that, I do hear that. I'm gonna. I'm now gonna talk about under eighteen parties. Yes. How do you guys feel about that? I'm gonna be honest. I've never gone to one in my life. Yeah, I went to. Yeah, we have. We went to J one. That was the under eighteen zone. Yeah, but parents were there. So, mm, do you think? I do you know. think it counted? I mean, for me, I'm gonna be honest. I kind of have. I have a fear of under eighteens. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm. I have a big fear. I feel like if you. I feel like. Um, Something's gonna happen, and I feel like because it's under 18s, there's no adults. There's no, there's no adults. There can be young adults. But... So if we, so if we are like 20, like 25. So you think you're saying if there's like under 18s, 
So maybe like adults on the door or adults just in the surrounding areas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like on the door I'm talking about. Oh, on the door, not on the door, yeah. sorry, on the door. So is it just me that kind of has a... Would you, so if you guys were to... If, you, if I was to say, yo, boom, LUR gang, what are you saying for under 18? What... What type of thing do you wouldn't expect? I bear in mind I've never been to one. I've never been to one in my life. So what okay. what do you what do you expect? Um DJs. Of course. Of course. <laughs> um like free drinks. Is it free drinks, yeah? Yeah. So drinks. I can't even make that. I've got to pay for the food though. If you want food you've got to pay. Oh I can make a profit. Oh we have yeah. to pay for like oh, you pay tickets. tickets. Yeah. Tickets. Yeah. So you yeah. pay for so, a ticket and it's like all like you two pound and tickets. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So yeah. Like, now we're talking now we're talking. Yeah. Guys, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, not going to lie to you, we have 20 seconds left, so when we come back, do you want to carry on talking about this or do you yeah. change the subject? Yes, yeah? carry on talking about this. We're going to keep talking about this. So, it's Case Nice with a 4 us show with my special guests, Lacey, Melissa, Sky and Regan. A show for young people, by young people. Yeah, I did it in 10 seconds. Um, yeah, after that, I bet we're going to talk a bit more about, um, talk a bit more about this whole community thing. We'll be back after the ads. Listen, Urban Radio. Hello, Hello. 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 H